Well, good evening and welcome to evening prayer. I'm going to get up onto my screen now um, the words for this evening and we can share together the words and follow the service together. So let's take a moment of quiet as we prepare ourselves to come before God, to turn to him as we end today. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so as we come to the end of today, let us turn to God. Let's give him those things that we have bought, said and done. That have turned us away from his will and his way. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. So before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our daily foe, but we no sinful thought may know. O oh, Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. So today's appointed psalm is Psalm 139, verses 1 to 18. O oh Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. There is not a word on my tongue, but you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to the heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there your right hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you, for night is as clear as day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works. My soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in the book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence.
Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep you show as our way. But trusting in your presence in this world, we may, beyond this life, still be with you, wherever you are, alive and reign forever and ever. So glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so the scripture reading today is from 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. So into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hide me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. So save us, O Lord, whilst waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. So glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may, may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. And so we've now come to a time where we will pray together. And let us pray with one heart and mind. So Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your beautiful world. And so in a moment of quiet, we lift those places that are on our heart, the places that we have seen on the TV screens that need your touch, your healing, your provision. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for our brothers and sisters around the world who are persecuted for their love for you. We pray, Father, that you would be their light in the darkness. We particularly pray for those in Pakistan. We pray for those in North Korea. We pray for those in Northern Nigeria. Lord, come by your Holy Spirit and be their provision in tonight, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As schools have broken up for half term, we pray, Father, that you would be with all head teachers, with teachers, with TAs, for support staff, for those who work in schools before and after school. Lord, give them your rest, give them your wisdom. And we pray, Father, that there would be a way for our children to return to school. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we thank you for the rollout of the vaccine and how well it's going. Lord Jesus, we pray that the vaccine would still um, continue to be supplied and that, Father, that our people would continue to receive their injections. Lord, would you drive this virus from our land and from our world? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And so, Father, we pray for those who we know are sick or suffering in any way. And we name them in our hearts now. Bring healing to them of body, mind and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray also for those who have been bereaved recently. Father, would you be with them? Would you be their comfort in the darkness? As they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, would you be their guiding light, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord Jesus, as we go into a night of sleep, we pray, Father, that you would pour out your peace on us. But when we awake, we would see your working hand in our lives and that we would testify to your goodness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So Lord Jesus Christ, son of the living God, who at this evening hour lay in the tomb and so hallowed the grave to be a bed of hope for all who put their trust in you. Give us such sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of your passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with you forever. Amen. And so we say the Lord's Prayer together, joining our prayers all into one. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. So in peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you, O oh Lord, alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O oh Christ. So the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace. Amen. So thank you for joining me this evening. Take care. God bless. And I hope you sleep well this night. See you soon.